Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with logging frameworks. Our viewer is trying to log all the properties in a log event info object to a JSON formatted string, but they're running into a challenge with complex objects that just won't serialize properly. Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Go on. To log properties from a log event info object as JSON, we need to ensure that the properties are serializable. Let's start by examining the configuration you provided. The issue arises because complex objects like iDictionary and iList do not serialize directly into JSON. Instead, we need to convert these properties into a format that can be serialized. To properly serialize these properties, we can create a custom layout renderer that converts these complex objects into a JSON-friendly format. This involves implementing a new class that extends nlog's layout renderer. Once you have your custom renderer, you can update your nlog configuration to use this new renderer for the properties attribute. This will ensure that your complex objects are serialized correctly. Finally, Test your logging setup to ensure that the properties are now serialized correctly into a JSON format that reflects the actual data structure. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. There's a bug in nlog, so I created a custom renderer. First, I made an extension method using JSON-Net to convert objects to JSON. Next, I created a layout renderer for JSON event properties. This renderer appends the serialized properties to a string builder. In my application startup, I registered the layout renderer and configured the nlog target to use it. With this setup, the JSON is properly formatted and I can access the properties in the log event info object. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you the answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.